all of the obstacle and difficulty, now we finally arrive into Huixian Village, uh, which is uh, a village that has around 200, 300 years of history of making preserved duck. They made the best preserved duck in China. So it's an authentic village, it's not a, a fake one, and we are going to see a true Chinese speciality in the place where they produce it. So now we go inside the factory and what is going to be interesting is to see how they produce it. It's also a home, a factory and a home. What we come? Uh, now you can take a look that the old ladies are making the first procedure is that they're cleaning the duck. You can see this big pile of dirt, you know. Okay, now as you can see that in the back, uh, the, can you see the ladies? The ladies are taking care of the duck, they're taking out of the fat part, which is really important. Like that you have only the yummy part. Yeah, <laughs> and actually in here you already can smell it. The because perfume. The perfume. Because when, after the cleaning, actually they will put the, some ingredients on it, including alcohol, cinnamon, all of the Chinese ingredients that I don't know the name, but is it that all each house has the special combination? Special recipe. Uh, even it's raw now, it's made me feel heavily nice and everything. Now, as you can see, they made this kind of special set to hang it up. This procedure, uh, so this procedure is uh, last for two weeks. Normally, they hang it, dry it by sun and wind. As you can see, it's or the skin start to appear crispy already crispy. Crisp, crispy and golden <laughs> and come this side when it comes to the history of this village actually uh, as we mentioned this village had 200 or 300 years of history of making preserved duck and most of the um, citizens or most of the people that live in here Religious. Um, mm -hmm. actually they are from Hui minority Hui uh, Minority is a, uh, is a group that mostly Muslim believe in Islam. Mm. So um, it's, it's something you can observe uh, typically after the door. So without entering the house or the <laughs> And you can also see from the window. Yeah, it's something that is interesting because China is a very diverse place. Uh, in culture, religions, uh, and it's not as uniform that foreigner. <laughs> okay, good. Mm. In our interview with the villager, astonishingly, we discovered that the community is coming from ancient Iraqi immigrants many centuries ago. It will be very interesting for people in Iraq to know that they have cousins in China. Of course, no, they are Chinese first, but they didn't forget their origin. So, can you ask him if uh, she thinks that it's a good idea to present this uh, speciality to foreigners? Do you think this, if you this if you it to foreigners, you think it's a good idea? It's good, it's good. It's good because it's good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone! If you like our video, please subscribe and share. And you can also give us a few dollars through our Patreon page each month to support us make more fantastic videos. Support, support us and, and get, get lost in China, China with us. us.